If you clicked on the thumbnail, you probably already know who Marcus Miller is. Bassist, composer, producer, multi-instrumentalist, metahuman, that impeccable groove, that immaculate tone, those funky solos. His playing will always be some of the greatest playing you'll ever hear. But if you listen hard, you'll hear something really special happening in between the cracks. He has a good to me that Those slides, man. In music, we call that a glissando. I honestly can't think of another bass player that uses slides and glisses in such a musical and personal way. They're peppered all through his playing, and they're played with as much attention as anything he plays with his thumb. He uses them in a lot of creative ways, but they can mainly be heard in four distinct styles. The one string gliss is one of his earliest types of slides. We can hear him open Never Too Much by Luther Vandross with this one. He'll also go up and down one string like he does on Steve Land from The Sun Don't Lie. Or he'll even use the one string slide in between phrases like he does on Dave Grusin's Punta del Sol. The key is to think rhythm and not pitch. Don't sit on any particular fret and give the gliss a pitch. Move. Make the sound the gliss and not any specific note. His two string gliss is a little more common. This one is done by glissing up the D string and coming back down the G string. You can clearly hear him using this one on Grover Washington Jr.'s Wine Light. When you listen to the slides through the years, you'll hear Marcus use them less and less as he gets older, but they actually pack more punch. They're so perfectly placed. By far, Marcus's signature slide is the three string version. Go up the D, grab the top fret on the G, come down and up the D, and then finally down the E string. This one is the most distinctive one in my opinion. You can hear him use it on the track Hannibal from the Miles Davis album, Amandala. And there's just one perfectly placed one on David Sanborn's Snakes. He always uses the slides to set up other parts of the song. Think the end of a musical phrase or transition, like a drum fill, only on the bass. Every once in a while, we'll get a four string gliss, which is basically just an extension of the three string version. This one incorporates every string on the instrument, again, emphasizing rhythm over pitch. You can hear him crush one of these on Al Jarreau's version of Summertime from 1994. The most important parts of Marcus's playing will always be his tone, his groove, and his note choice, but we can't talk about his singular style without including those signature slides and glisses, which are just as distinct. They give his playing as much personality as anything else, and they also serve to hook our ears into the next section of the song. He cooks up a gorgeous musical meal for us with his thumb, and the slides are the seasoning on top of that. So the next time you listen to Luther Vandross, or Miles, or David Sanborn, or anybody else that he's played with, listen for those little magical moments that make his bass lines 
perfect. 